Halo Gang or Die. Shout out to Hard Knocks. I'm Chevy Woods. Yeah, that. Once you get a lot of money, it ain't about how you spend it. It's about how you invest that shit to make more money. And I ain't trying to go back to selling coke again. Police, they try to focus in. Hundreds with these frozen gym blinds, they had their noses in. Now my picture important for the camera, I pose for them. Switching up the car so they never know what I'm going to do. Do you remember the first artist or song that made you want to rap? Um, no, actually, because, you know, I was um, in the sports, you know what I mean? And I didn't really like pick a song that you know that made me want to rap. I heard people around my neighborhood rapping and that's what I picked up on. Like some local stuff that people may not know of, you know what I mean? Just some of the homies that used to rap at like little, little, little Hazelwood days, what they call it in my neighborhood. And they used to be on stage, you know, every year you would, you would hear it. So you would like, you know, pick up on it. We didn't get a chance to catch up to, but I know you were at South by. Tell us a little bit of like what that experience was this year. Um, it was crazy, you know, being that there was, it was down there, you know, for the purpose of, of the Taylor gang now, instead of it just being, you know, for Wiz, you know, last day, last year, we went down there and it was only a few of us that was rapping, you know, and this year it was like everybody had a showcase and we were running the, from place to place, you know, everybody was performing, so it was fun, you know what I'm saying, especially seeing, you know, the fan support, you know what I mean, and everybody yelling, yo, Taylor gang, when we walk into the streets and, you know, they could actually touch us and shake hands, you know, and say what's up, so, you know, that's for the fans, you know, to feel good in situations like that. I hear these niggas just rapping. I'm jewelry down and I'm ganged out. My niggas don't do no talking. Y'all niggas giving them names out. I'm Taylor Gang and you know it. Get it back there so I blow it. Like frames on so I'm I'm Chevy Woods with a Taylor Gang. This is the 2052. Now we interviewed Wiz a couple of months ago and he said you actually were on the, on the road tour and on your own. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Um, it was fun. It was a good experience for the first time. You know what I mean? You learn things. There's certain stuff that we do on Wiz's tour, you know, that you have to take to do, you know, on my own tour with my homies. So just trying to show, you know, the new homies that's around the ropes of what goes on, you know what I mean? And, and everybody else, the old homies, like bringing them in and show them, you know, we, we do this this way, we wake up this way, or we set this up this way, we do sound check this way, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm sure for, for people who aren't on the tour, they probably aren't familiar with how meticulous like every day is. Like, right. You got a schedule, it's crazy. Like, it's a grind. Right, right, right. right. You got you to gotta really, you know, you got to wake up and if you live it, you got to like eat that shit, you know what I mean? So you just got to keep going and going and going. So some days you wake up and you don't want to do it. But, you know, it's a hustle. It's how you feed your family, so you got to get up and do it. Uh, speaking of feeding your family, I heard that uh, you got a new mixtape coming out. Yes. Too. What can you yes. tell us about that? Um, crazy production. It's real, you know, edgy. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of a lot of the Taylor Gang members on there. There's a lot of other cool features on there, too. And I've just been working on it. You know, I really, like, try to work on it like I'm working on an album. You know what I mean? So I've been like flying to LA recording, going to Atlanta recording, you know, like doing songs on a move so I can get used to just, you know, being different places and, you know, connecting with different people, going to different clubs and going back to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Then record a song, maybe like I heard something, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Me and my niggas been getting to this money. This really ain't nothing new. Uh, uh. Get into this money, still perfecting the flow. You see me, I'm a G, you got a couple letters to go. What well, can you tell us about how uh, Gangland 2 is, is evolved from the first one? Um, I just don't don't go in the studio and, and, and just rap it and be satisfied now. You know what I mean? I'm really trying to make the music for the people, you know, not to just understand, but for the people to feel, and for the people to respect. Before, on Gangland 1, it was like on the fly and I was just, you know, trying something, you know what I'm saying? So now I, I feel like that I'm, I hone that skill. So now I'm just bring it to light and let everybody see it on G2. And it's hosted by DJ Drama and it's a Gangster Grills. Do you have a date for that? No, not yet. Um, Project Pat's on it. That's just to let you know where it's going, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just gonna be street. Um, who else did I get on it? Uh, Chip the Ripper's on it. You know what I mean. We got I got a cold one with Chip the Ripper. Uh, Menace from uh, from Compton Menace from, from the West Coast is on it. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give them all of them, but yeah. Keep a little bit of surprise. Right, right, right. Everything on me. Run and tell them that. Promoters book a couple shows and I'ma get it back, get it back. And what I'm smoking.
smoking on it so strong. Them niggas tripping, tell them it's a rap. Bitch, I walk in stunting like a movie double. With all my jewelry on, I'm looking like this how you hustle. Speaking of the Taylor Gangs, uh, you guys got a compilation album working on too, or how's, how's that coming along? Um, it's a lot of songs to pick from, so I guess you know we're shopping around the idea of where we want to, you know, do the situation at. So uh, once we get the songs narrowed down, uh, it'll be a go. Hopefully, you know, this year or the beginning of next year. Now today you're performing at, at a Pay Dues Festival, uh, which is kind of like symbolizing you know, independent artists who were putting in work right. and putting in that grind. Now, now, what does that mean to you? But I mean, it means a lot to me because actually, I was watching an uh, interview that Ab Soul did, and he had the tattoo, the pay dues tattoo, and I was like, man, you know, the feeling of him getting that tattoo, tattoo, and knowing that he really like paid his dues, and he actually did this festival. You know what I'm saying? It all like comes in, comes comes as a whole. So as I was watching that interview, I was like, man, you know. I want to get that feeling, you know what I'm saying? So, here we are. Champagne when we celebrate. King sense, so I smell the hate. Middle finger, we getting paid. It costs much, but don't price that A. That dotted line ain't like that day. Comic book, let me illustrate. Like Pow Bang when they lift that K. My cousin that wish I could get that day. Back like it's a vertebrae and bring that nigga on front street. Talk about it, never be about it. They don't want beef, cause that's lunch meat. Now, for artists that are watching this, uh, uh, spot, like upcoming artists, what mm -hmm. advice do you have for them? Um, just embrace it, you know what I mean? If, if you have something going for yourself, if you have people behind you supporting you, embrace it, you know what I'm saying? You go a long way, you know, you gotta have like loyal loyal people that, that's willing to work for you, not about a dollar, you know what I mean? Because everybody doesn't start off with money. So, you know, some things you gotta work from the ground up. Some people are born into, you know, music. Some people get their way in from off of the street. Some people know somebody. So whatever works for you, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta home it and go for it. How important is, is touring to building that fan base? I think it's, it's, the, it's the best thing. You know, um, I think that and, and maybe Twitter, you know what I'm saying, go like almost hand to hand, you know what I mean? I think touring because they could touch you, you know what I mean? And they, they there's meet and greets and there's 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 VIPs and you know people get to like see you and maybe you know might bring somebody on stage or rap a verse or you might connect with somebody like you know so I, I feel like touring, you know, for the for the for the touch and feel thing for the people is a, is like a huge thing.